believe me when I tell you, I have made the mistake of trusting people way too easily. Jumping into these so-called friendship, expecting people to be friends forever, and then literally a few weeks later, you get left. And you get hurt. Time and time and time again. I have been hurt a lot more times than I care to admit, and I don't think it's any secret that I don't exactly have the most banging social life ever. Today I wanted to talk to you a bit about the aftermath of these friendships and I want to share what I've learned because I know I am not the only one going through this. you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia i make videos talking about mental health chronic illness and occasionally videos of monkeys on cars when i get to a safari park but today i'm talking about toxic friendships and moving on afterwards and i'm not gonna sit here and slay everyone i fell out with or talk about the ins and the outs of why we people fall out with me and why i've fallen out with people that's not what this video is about learn from my mistake if you are anything like me you are too trusting you overshare you will be friends with anyone because you don't want to be alone. You will go to all variations of extremes just to try, just to try and make one person feel comfortable. So let's talk a bit about this and let's talk about the last friendship that this happened in. I, as you guys know, if you haven't seen the previous videos, I was recently diagnosed diabetic and I've been in and out of hospital trying to deal with highs and low blood sugars and it's no secret that I've been struggling with it. And I was in hospital a week ago overnight and I wasn't answering messages. I was terrified because I haven't, well at that point I hadn't been admitted to a medical ward in seven. It's been a long time and I found it really emotional and I basically didn't answer an Instagram message that I didn't see and someone fell out with me over it. Of all things you could fall out with over me not answering an Instagram message. If that's really going to cause the end of a friendship then I'm glad we're not friends. This friendship caused me to think a lot about who I have in my life, the friends I have, who I associate with. So when you lose a friend in any circumstances, whether it's a close friendship you've lost or an online friendship you've lost, it's still hard and emotional and you are going to feel things about that that some people don't understand. There are some important things I have here to say is know who you are giving your information to. Don't give out your address to random people. Don't give out your phone number to people you don't know. Don't give out your full name to people you don't know. You have to learn to protect yourself and um, this is something that I'm hopeless at doing. I trust way too easily and I let people in my life so fast that uh, often or not I don't really know who I'm friends with and it's no secret I've made a lot of mistakes when making friends. Everyone makes mistakes. But I want to talk today about moving on from a toxic friendship. I think the first thing you need to do is rationalise what actually happened and if it's like why I went for it because I didn't answer an Instagram message and this person pieced out basically on the friendship and was just like maybe the kind of people you're associating with if people are willing to drop you over something as small as an instagram message are they real friends or are they people who are just there to get your attention and are there to use you the person i fell out with i spent a lot on and you know i felt hurt afterwards i really did it's okay to be angry friendships are hard because there's no right or wrong way to make friends with people most of the people i know now are people who i met in hospital and have seen me my worst and this is such a cliche thing to say but if people can't respect you at your worst then you shouldn't let them be around when you are at your best you need to also set boundaries in friendships realize it's okay for you to go separate ways when you're friends it's normal to feel like this friendship will last forever but just like in relationships how you move on when it breaks down friendships work very similarly and it's okay to move on it's okay if things don't work out it's okay if you don't think the friendship is worth it. I think it's important to always be honest and true so if you don't want to be in a friendship with someone, if you don't want to talk to someone just saying it is less hurtful than not saying it and faking it. You need to focus on healthy relationships so people you've known for a while, people who support you, people who actually care. Give yourself time to move on, don't think that you have to get a new friendship, don't think you have to move straight on to someone else, that is not how friendships work. It's 
kind of a grieving process. You miss that person as a friend and you will wonder what you did wrong, what made them not like you and honestly you are never going to have the answers. No one is ever, no one's going to say and that's coming from years of experience. It's okay to be upset and sad. When you can tell a friendship is fizzling out, the best thing you can do is reduce it slowly and be honest Honesty really is the best policy in anything, but especially with any kind of relationship. Often or not, friendships end when there is a breakdown in trust and it can cause so many personal issues with anxiety, stress and not wanting to open up and often get trapped in a toxic friendship. It can make you distrustful of others because it, it just makes you not want to trust people, it makes you not want to get close to people because you want to protect yourself from getting hurt again. Moving on is about healing. Nothing ends without pain and whether that's friendship, relationship, I don't, I don't know, anything. It ends with pain and you're gonna have to take time for yourself. While you're healing, don't take it out on other people. Don't take it out on the toxic person. Write it down, get it out, but don't hurt people because you've been hurt. Another thing that I'm gonna say people might disagree with is forgiveness. If you have the capacity to forgive someone, that makes you 10 times better than someone who never forgets, never forgives and if you can't forgive it's very unlikely you're going to be able to move on but what i want this video to be about is i don't want you to think friendships are just going to end i want to reassure you that yes friendships will end well there are plenty of friendships out there and people who make you feel bad are not worth your time my top thing to say in this is be careful what you share know who you are friends with and know the risks of opening up. Now I'm not going to tell you not to share your story, not to speak what's going on. You have to be careful in what information you put out there because there are a lot of people who will do anything to use that against you. And without naming names, most of you know this is what has happened to me the last two years. And with that I am going to end this video here and I hope you learned something from this. All around I just want you guys to be safe.